It's June 22nd, 2023, about 9.30 a.m., and I'm back in Bar Harbor. Today, uh, I'm parked down on Cottage Street, and my intent is to walk around a little bit more. I've got 39 minutes on the meter, so we'll get to see a bit of Bar Harbor other than just downtown. So... So this is Cottage Street looking toward Maine. There's the Bar Harbor Post Office. And uh, I'm just gonna head down Cottage and we're gonna go up to the Village Green, but I'm not gonna go uh, via Main Street. I'm gonna sort of cut through a side street. And Cottage Street is the second main business street here in Bar Harbor. It is... It is uh, all uh, commercial, pretty much the whole length. There are what look like houses in a couple places, but they're actually uh, businesses now. Okay, here we go. This is Roddick Street, so we're going to go up there. Sidewalk's on the other side. And we'll walk up this way and go to the Village Green and then do the rest of downtown. It's like a little renovation going on right there. I haven't been on this street before. It's like a restaurant. Not open yet, but it probably will be later in the day. And another restaurant. There are something like 90 restaurants. Here's another one, the Lombok Cafe. As I was starting to say, there are something like 90 restaurants here in Bar Harbor. Which is pretty good for a town of 5,000 people. Of course, the restaurants here exist uh, because this place is an absolute tourist mecca in the summer. Oh, so it's uh, very, very busy here in the summer. It is about 9:30 in the morning today, so. It's not as busy today. As you can see, it's pretty quiet here. One block from Main Street. Here is yet another cafe, the Side Street Cafe. And pretty much none of these places appear to be open yet for the day. They'll probably open up an hour and a half or so for lunch. Oh. There's something that is open, Thrive. At least it says it's open. I'm probably at a time which is a little late for breakfast, but a little early for lunch. And we're just about Up to the next street. And what do we have here? Another restaurant. So this one block stretch has about half a dozen restaurants. Uh, over here is the fire department right there the brick building fire truck in front kind of gives it away and then another restaurant and after that the village green which i'm going to walk through As you see, it's not very busy right now. Actually, nice days. 
uh, tend to be not as busy as overcast rainy days. And the reason is pretty simple. Uh, on the overcast rainy days, everybody goes to Acadia National Park. So here we are. This is the Village Green. And we're going to walk across over to Main Street. Quite nice little fountain. And the buildings over there are on Main Street. A little gazebo. Very peaceful here. I can smell food, but what I smell is popcorn. I don't know why. And there's Eden Street with yet more restaurants. And I usually drive through up here. So today we're going to see a slightly different view of this part of Bar Harbor. You see, everywhere you look here, there are restaurants with outdoor seating up there, uh, covered indoor seating there, regular indoor seating, and just uh, restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. An espresso bar and cafe. And a strong smell of popcorn. I wonder if it's some chemical somebody's using. Okay, we'll get over and take the crosswalk. And go a little bit further down. Okay, we're walking away from the waterfront. This is Main Street. And uh, up here, here's a restaurant. Cherry Stones, it says. And a little further up, there is Jalapenos. And I'm sure there are other restaurants further up there. And if you want to stay right in Bar Harbor, this is the Ivy Manor Inn, right on Main Street about three blocks from the waterfront. I quite like this building. I'm sure it was built as a home and it's been converted into an inn. And it says they have a vacancy here on Thursday morning. And there's a motel down there and another restaurant, a Chinese restaurant. So, no shortage of places to eat in Bar Harbor, lots of variety. And it's now I've turned around and I'm heading toward the waterfront here on Main Street. Okay, another sort of juice bar. And an Irish pub. Some businesses aren't open yet for the day. It's not very busy here on Main Street in downtown Bar Harbor today, but it will pick up later when the lunch crowd shows up. Here's a side street. As we look at downtown, I'm gonna go up another block and then we're gonna go down a side street and come out to the waterfront in a slightly different place than I usually do. And more cafes and restaurants. There are not super busy right now this early in the morning. Bar Harbor Beer Works, plenty of seating there. 
I don't know that they're open yet. <laughs> the, the Acadia Country Store. Lots of Maine themed paraphernalia. And lots of additional shops here. We'll continue up and I'm going to go down a side street and walk through a little bit different part of town than you normally see in my Bar Harbor videos. We're currently about two blocks from the waterfront. Okay. Not sure where this goes. Haven't actually walked down here before. There is a little park called Grant Park back here. Here's a little green space with a couple picnic tables. And this is the drive-in for one of the banks. <laughs> And I'll just continue down and we're going to walk a little bit farther from Main Street <laughs> and then uh, head back to Cottage where I'm parked. Okay. It is a Catus wildus meowapusicus roaming our yard. What you doing, black fur? There's a parking lot. I don't know if this is public parking or associated with a business. Here's George's garden. <laughs> I walk through this parking lot and exit about a block past Main Street. And this is going to take us into the back of the Bar Harbor Inn, I believe. And we'll go from there over to uh, Agamont Park, take a look at the waterfront, and then I'm going to head back to my vehicle. If I can, I may be trapped in here. We'll find out in a second. I don't want to go into somebody's yard in order to get out of here. Big old house here, which I suspect is an inn. Yes, it is. Okay. And we can go back up toward Main Street or down this way a little bit further and over by the Bar Harbor Inn. And we'll go cut through their parking area to the waterfront. You see back here some very nice old homes that are all inns. <laughs> There's the yellow house in there. And a place called Ulikana. Or Ulikana. I don't know how they say it. And straight ahead is the back side of the Bar Harbor Inn. As I said, I'm going to cut through their parking back over to Agamont Park. And actually, if you look over there, you can just see a little water between the buildings. And that is where we're headed. The so Bar Harbor Inn has, of course, its waterfront view rooms and has lots of other rooms back here. 
It's a very large hotel. With quite a range of prices. We come through, and I think I can get back over to Agamont Park just up here. I think. I'm not sure exactly. I don't come back here very often. And I think I have to go over that way. Well, I think there's a sidewalk down here. Here, they have some EV charging. I'm sure you have to be a customer here to use it. And it also looks like a good number of the cars parked here. Well, that is an electric Jeep. It's quite a nice hotel. And we'll walk around on the sidewalk here and out to the waterfront. So, seeing a slightly different part of Bar Harbor today. I think I want to just go up here and go to the right. Morning. Morning. Okay. Oh, a little grassy area with a gazebo as we work our way back toward Main Street and the Bar Harbor waterfront. This looks like the one of the main offices for the hotel over here where you can check in. And I think this part of the hotel is the back side of the waterfront part. I may be wrong though as we head across. It's a little bit further and we will be at Agamont Park. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Agamont Park, straight ahead here. And the vehicles parked down there are on the town dock. It was very peaceful back here, away from the hustle and bustle of Main Street here in Bar Harbor. And there's the waterfront from down here. Lots of lobster boats out there. There's the schooner Margaret Todd. Looks like they're loading passengers for their first trip of the day which judging from the look of the water is not going to be a boisterous sail we'll walk across here right down there there is a path that goes right along the shore for about half a mile called surprisingly the shore path And here is Agamont Park, which I'm going to go into. And we're going to work our way back up to Main Street and then back to Cottage, and where I will go down to my vehicle. A beautiful day here. Now there are boats that look like they are set up to haul passengers that are heading out past the islands. And that suggests to me that there might be a cruise ship anchored out there. Hard to say though. So, here we go. Walking toward the main part of Agamont Park. And as I mentioned, this path right down here is the shore path. And here are the Bar Harbor Harbor defenses. 
if uh, they don't want a cruise ship here they can always target it and get rid of it <laughs> actually that brings up something that's happening right now last winter the town voted to greatly restrict cruise ship visits and uh, that immediately dropped them into a whole bunch of litigation as uh, a lot of the local businesses want the cruise ship passengers they generate business and the companies that ferry passengers to and from the cruise ships want the passengers because of course that's their lifeblood so beautiful view of the waterfront on a peaceful thursday morning a bit before 10 a.m from agamont park tide is out so you can walk over to bar island which is of course in acadia national park okay i'm gonna head back up and get back to my car before my meter expires so i hope what this uh, little video today has shown you is that within two or three minutes of main street there are lots and lots of options in terms of restaurants and places to stay. Bar Harbor is totally dedicated to tourism this time of year. Okay, here we are now back at Main Street. Here's the fountain at the entrance to Agamont Park. And the part of Main Street that you see in every one of my videos and here come a couple of tour buses loaded with passengers not sure where they're going They did have some of the parking. Sorry about the bus noise. They did have some of the parking at the lower end of Main Street blocked off, probably to provide parking for those buses. There are lots of tours that come here and uh, by bus from all over New England. Here we go. This is Cottage. And I'm parked just about two blocks down. So, that will be the end of today's video. So, as I said, hope you found this look at a little bit more of Bar Harbor interesting as we walk down Cottage Street to where I'm parked. So I'm going to call this video over. It's gone on long enough as I've walked around Bar Harbor to give you a feel for a little bit more of the town. Thanks for watching.